Hey y'all, Jordan Gallup here, your Amelia Island real estate advisor. Today, we're gonna take you on a little driving tour of historic Fernandina Beach right here on Amelia Island. All around town, they've got these discovery maps. Uh, you can pick them up at multiple locations. Um, it kind of shows all of Amelia Island, and then on the back, it kind of blows up the downtown historic district, so it shows little different businesses, restaurants, and if, if you don't have one of these, if you live out of town and you want one, text me or message me your mailing address and I will be sure to get you one. All right, so we are about to start the driving tour, but first, coffee. All right, so local tip. If you bring your own cup, they'll fill it for less and then you can tip more. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we are right now, we are on Center Street. Center Street is kind of the main, the main drag here. Um, this is kind of where you'll find most, most of everything downtown. Uh, right now we are passing the Palace Saloon. The Palace is Florida's oldest bar uh, you'll see their, their pirate statue that they put out there. It's a great place for a picture. Here we are right now by the Amelia Island Welcome Center. Uh, it's the old, the old train station here. There's a statue of David Yuley who founded the town. Uh, there's also a statue of Peg Leg. Um, a few other good photo spots. All right, and now we are at the river. Um, so here's the downtown marina. Um, and so right here at the river, it's front street and center. So right now we are at front and center. Um, Brett's is a, is a cool place to sit right there on, on the water, watch the boats. Okay, so Salty Pelican is a local favorite. There's live music there a lot. So I think Salty Pelican is probably one of the best places to watch the sunset, sit up on the second level there. Um, pretty much every time I'm there, I see dolphins playing out in the river too. We are heading uh, east on Center Street. We have the Christmas shop, which is Christmas year round. Um, I always feel like this is a Hallmark Christmas movie here. I feel like they would film stuff more if it was colder. Um, we are passing the Book Loft. The Book Loft is a it's a great place to get local books from local authors. They have, I mean, every New York Times bestseller. You can also get autographed books here, and sometimes you can be lucky enough to find a John Grisham signed book who has a home here on Amelia Island. A cool fact about John Grisham is that he based his best-selling books, Camino Island and Camino Winds, off of Amelia Island. Uh, the story is centered around Bay Books, which is based off the book loft. Bay Books, though, has a basement vault, and the book loft does not have a basement because the basement here would be underwater. Okay, right now we are passing the post office in downtown. Um, this is a working post office. It's a beautiful building. The stairs are also a great place to watch all the parades. Okay, now if you, if you go south on Center Street, um, on any of these side streets, some of them are one way, so you have to be careful for the first block. Um, but you'll see just some amazing historic homes, um, most of them built in the, in the 1800s or early 1900s. Uh, the architecture, they just, they just built it differently back then. Um, but it, it's great, you can drive it, you can start at Center Street and kind of walk a few blocks here and there. Um, huge, a lot of these houses feature huge porches. Um, and then just the detail that they, that they had in the, in the woodwork, um, you just don't see that anymore. All right, now we're coming up to the Fairbanks house. So the Fairbanks house is a bed and breakfast. Uh, beautiful magnolia trees, live oak trees. Um, it's, it is one of their, the prettiest buildings, I think, here on Amelia Island. Okay, another way to see some of these really cool historic homes is every, every winter they have a holiday historic home tour. Um, and they, 
they decorate everything for Christmas, but you can buy a ticket and then you can get to tour some of these amazing houses, some that haven't come on the market in years and years, so you would never get to see them otherwise. All right, so right now we are coming up on the Amelia Island Museum of History. So this building actually used to be the old Nassau County Jail. Um, and a fun fact about the jail is the Carnegie family, who used to own a lot of Cumberland Island, which is the island just to the north of us, they would take their boats come to Amelia Island, the Palace Saloon. They would roll up $100 bills, put them on the gas light, light the money on fire, light their cigars uh, with, the, with the $100 bills, and, and then a lot of times they would end up in the drunk tank here in the jail uh, for, the, for the night. So th there's been some famous people that have slept here at the Amelia Island Museum of History. Okay, so now we're coming up on, we are on Ash Street. We have City Hall right here. You go straight one more block and you're back at the, the water and the marina. Um, so we have the Hampton Inn here, uh, this new restaurant, the Boathouse, uh, which actually was an old boathouse before it became a restaurant. Um, there's some other great Pajama Dave's is a... Um, little kind of craft beer bar and then my kids favorite Villa Villa Coola toys um, it's a toy store right here on Amelia Island they they have the the coolest toys that you won't find anywhere else all right so we are coming up second street right now we have the the Amelia Island art gallery they'll do even cool um, art classes for kids uh, we have the crab trap and then uh, this is this is fairly new on Amelia Island, but they have the Gregor McGregor Mini Links and Drinks, and and it is such a fun, fun little putt putt course. Um, and there's there's food and drinks, and it's right here, just one block off Center Street. Okay, we are on North Third Street right now, so we've got. Um, I know my wife's favorite is Cafe Caribou. It's a great spot for lunch. There's multiple um, places to sit inside, outside, um, that are all unique and different. There's uh, Duck Pens, which is a cool like mini bowling alley um, bar. And even if you're waiting for Cafe Caribou or other stuff, you can go there, um, you know, play. They've got the little shuffleboard tables until your, your table's ready. Next to that, we have Timothy's Seafood Shack, which Coastal Living Magazine named as one of the best seafood dives in the U.S. and the only one on the Atlantic coast. And the kids love it because there's a huge pirate ship that they can play on while, while you're waiting for your food, or usually the kids then want to finish their food right away so they can go play. Okay, so here on Center Street, um, there's, there's also some great shopping and they have, they have a lot of boutique shops and they also have a lot of antique shops. So whether you want boutique or antique, uh, new or old, there's always, there's always so, so many cool things here that you really, you really can't find, um, you know, if you go to Target or Walmart or anywhere else like that. Okay, so right now we are passing the Nassau County Historic Courthouse. Uh, there's an old cornerstone on the building that shows it was built like in the 1890s um, and it as, is a working courthouse so uh, this is this is pretty cool you can actually go in to renew your driver's license or or the tags on your car and it, it takes about five minutes to get in and out and any other place I've ever lived it's it's hours and hours okay so we've mentioned there's so many great places to eat but after dinner, there are also so many great spots for desserts. So we have Nana Teresa's Bake Shop up here. We have Island Time, which is a, a ice cream and you can add all your own toppings. We have the Cinnamon Bear. Okay, and then we also have Fantastic Fudge, which is on the corner of Center and Third Street. Uh, the, the line is always out the door. 
And when you walk by and smell, you will see why, and it is well worth the wait. So they make the fudge right there um, in front of you, and it it's so good. And yeah, it's it's honestly it's hard to walk by and and not go in there. If if I don't want it, I have to cross the other side of the street because it smells so good. Now we are coming up on España which is an amazing restaurant specializing in traditional flavors from Spain and Portugal. The food is so good that even Mick Jagger came up for dinner when the Rolling Stones were playing in Jacksonville. Okay, and then just north of Center Street, there is Seaport Row Apartments. Um, it's a cool apartment complex. It's so close to everything. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about that too, I've got some floor plans so you could you can send me a text or email um, and I can get you more info on that. And then right now, this is another local favorite. It's a little bit hard to find, but it is packed every single night. It is Wicked Bow. Um, so the food there is, is amazing. Yes, you will find pretty much every local there. Um, at some point in, in a week. Okay, another favorite thing to do here on Amelia Island um, is go to the parades. So there, there are a bunch of different parades throughout the year. Uh, there's the Shrimp Fest Parade. There is the, uh, the Christmas, it's a nighttime light parade. So all the floats are lit up. And they'll start at Central Park. They'll come down Ash Street, turn at Second Street, and then go from Center Street all the way back to, to Central Park. So there's a lot of cool spots that you can see the parade from um, and, and there's not a bad view wherever, wherever you find. Okay, then every Saturday morning from, from nine to one, they have a farmer's market right here at Center Street and North 7th Street. So they shut down the road. There's local vendors. Um, I mean, you can find local jewelry, local honey, um, you know, if you're gluten-free or vegan, there's, there's places for you. There's plants, um, vegetables. It's, it's such a cool, it's such a cool little farmer's market. And that is every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. And if you like, if you like wine and you like just a cool spot to hang out, uh, the decantery is a, is a newer, newer restaurant. It's right next to the palace and, and it's just a fun spot. You can even buy a locker and keep, keep whatever you want right there in your own personal locker. Okay. Now we are coming down, uh, South third street. We have the Florida house and Inn, Um, and then we have one of the most popular spots is the green turtle tavern. There's live music there all the time. Um, if you're downtown, you're probably hearing music from the Green Turtle. Okay, so as far as places to stay downtown, we do have the Hampton Inn. There's um, a lot of bed and breakfast. We have the Florida House Inn. We have Fairbanks House. We have uh, the Hoyt House. Um, and and there's, there's just more little cool spots uh, that, that you can find if you want to be close to Center Street. And then another, another place just, just past Center Street where it kind of turns into Atlantic, but uh, it's still downtown um, and you can still walk to everything, is the Schoolhouse Inn. So the Schoolhouse Inn was the old schoolhouse that uh, a few years ago they, they gutted and turned into like a boutique hotel. Uh, there's a pool there. And then there's a bar open to the public as well uh, called the principal's office. Okay, so right now we're here at the corner of Center Street and 8th Street. We have Tasty's Burgers, which are, it's an amazing burger place right here. Um, we have the Hoyt House, which is a bed and breakfast uh, kind of across the street from me right now. Um, we have a cool little bike shop. So if you if you move here and say I need a beach cruiser now, this is the place to go. It's Fernandina Beach Cycling. Uh, we have La Serena, which is the most authentic uh, tacos here on the island. It's a great spot for lunch, and you'll find me there a bunch. 
All right, so for seven to eight months out of the year, they have this thing downtown called Sounds on Center, and they bring in a different band each. It's the, the first Friday of the month, and they'll, they'll shut down the street kind of over by the Palace Saloon there, that, that end, end section, and they'll shut it down, and they'll bring, they'll bring a stage. Everyone brings a lawn chair. There's, there's vendors. There's, the kids are dancing. It's such a fun event for, for all ages. Um, and it's called Sounds on Center, and you can you can search that. You can kind of see who's playing when, but it but it's a it's a really really unique thing about the downtown. Hey, thank you so much for watching. There's so much more to show you, so make sure to like, follow, and subscribe for more content like this.